welcome to 12 Day Health. I'm your host, Dr. Derek De Silva. Earlier this year, former Vice President Dick Cheney, who has a history of heart problems, had a device implanted that's expected to allow him to live a longer life. It's called the HeartMate 2, and it's giving new hope to 5 million Americans living with congestive heart failure. My guests were both pioneers in the use of this device. Dr. James Slater of the Gagnon Cardiovascular Institute of Morristown Memorial became the first surgeon in the U.S. to implant the device for long-term use, and the man to receive it was Carter Blankenship of Long Valley. Gentlemen, welcome to the program. Thank you very yes, much. Sir. So let's start with you first, doctor. What is congestive heart failure? Quite simply, the heart is a pump, and its job is to deliver oxygenated blood throughout the body. As the heart muscle weakens, it's, it fails its pumping duty. At the end of that process, end-stave end congestive heart failure, blood remains in the heart, the, the heart is not able to push the blood forward, blood backs up in the heart and in the stop before the heart, which is the lungs. The lungs can fill with water, and let, rather than being like light fluffy sponges through which air passes through easily, become like heavy waterlogged sponges which air can't pass through very effectively at all. That causes shortness of breath. Mm -hmm. it, what a, a lot of my patients ask me, you know, what is congestive heart failure? I just tell them that the pump's not working. Exactly You know, right. the sump pump in the basement is not working, and the basement starts to fill up. That's exactly right. And what happens is, early in that process, we can treat with medicines. Patients take oral medicines. As they get sicker and the heart muscle gets weaker, they may have to come into the hospital for intravenous medicines. Mm -hmm. When those start to fail, then we need to look for extreme measures, and we get into co so-called cardiac replacement therapies, right. the best known of which is cardiac transplantation. Right. The problem with cardiac transplantation is there are only a limited number of donors. Since the 1980s, when transplantation became widely spread, there are only ever 25 to 3,000 hearts available for potentially 500,000 people who could use it. So it just becomes a supply and demand issue Absolutely. more than anything. What are some of the causes of congestive heart failure? Well, um, <coughs> one of the main causes is ischemic coronary disease. Not enough blood supply mm -hmm. to the heart. Patients often will have um, bypass surgery in it previously, but those bypass grafts die or patients continue on to have heart attacks. Right. So that, that's not an option for them. Uh, another is you can poison your heart. Alcoholic cardiomyopathy is one. And then there's a large group of patients we call idiopathic cardiomyopathy. The muscle fails for no particular reason. We don't know why no. that happened. Carter, can you give us your story? I mean, you have this device. You were the is the first person in the U.S. or you were the first surgeon to implant it? Uh, he's the first person to first have long term. First long term. Long term. Right. A destination therapy. So. What, what was your situation? Tell us a little bit about what happened with exactly you. Exactly what he said my situation was. I had trouble getting my breath, and it got to the point where I just couldn't do anything. And that's why I went in for this, and this, this cropped up. Um, it's not something I wanted to do, but it was what was available. Right. And it did do the job, and it works beautiful. And it's better than the alternative, right? Oh, yes, yeah, absolutely. I mean, that, that, that's, <laughs> so let's talk about the device, and we've got some video. If sure. you could just talk over this and tell us what's going on here, sure. please. Um, what you see here is a, is a failing heart. The heart's uh, enlarged, and it's no longer pumping effectively. So keep talking, okay. keep talking, um, and keep going through what, it. What we're going so that there's not enough blood getting uh, to uh, organs effectively. And what you see now is this new device that's been implanted. It mates with the apex of the main pump pumping chamber of the heart, the left ventricle. Blood is drawn down into the body of the device and then propelled via that outflow graft onto the main blood vessel after the heart called the aorta. Mm -hmm. um, this, this goes on to show how all of the organs benefit from this. They're, they're used to not getting adequate blood supply and now they're getting adequate okay. blood supply again. Can you just show us, uh, you, 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 if you would just maybe uh, just grab the big one. Sure. Grab the big one there. So and, and just tell, is this, this in? This is the HeartMate 1. This okay. was the original device that was used uh, in, in this line. Mm -hmm. uh, this is still used, and it was the first device first that was used for bridge to transplant in patients who are, aren't going to receive a transplant, mm -hmm. and later for destination therapy. This, as you can see, is a fairly large device, and right. if you could feel it, you'll see that it's a very heavy device. Mm -hmm. This has been replaced by the device that we have now put in Carter, which is the HeartMate 2. It's the one we saw in the video, I That's believe. That's right. Yeah. This is significantly lighter. It's wow. about a third the size. This is the part that mates into the left ventricle, the main pumping chamber of the heart. And this is the graft that's sewn on. 
This cord here is what exits the patient to talk, and it talks to the equipment that keeps the device running. And then if we can just uh, just show, get a shot of this, this is what uh, Carter has on there with the- That's correct. With the whole thing there. So it's not heavy, it's not uncomfortable, it's not, well, it's probably a little uncomfortable, a little right. inconvenient. But it's a lot better than the old device. Right. You yeah. know? So, and what you're seeing here, just to be clear, is this is the controller. The device is actually inside Carter, right. and the only part of the device is that small cord that I showed you that connects to the controller. Right. And then right. he, has, he has batteries on either side that can allow him to be walking around mm -hmm. freely for up to 12 hours wow. at a time. Long-term long -term prognosis with this? Well, um, you know, it, there, there can be pump malfunctions and issues can arise anytime you have something in your body that, be, that, wasn't, uh, sure. that didn't belong there. Infection is always an issue. Carter has done amazingly well. He's into his ninth, ninth month uh, with this device and he hasn't stubbed his toe once. That is absolutely ex excellent. Well, I thank you both for being here. Oh. Keep up the great work thank you. that you're doing, and good luck to you, sir. And thank you. And thank I you. thank you for joining good. us.